Korean course has now been updated, so it goes up to five units instead of three. I'll definitely be checking that out. A lot of you seem to enjoy my shenanigans on Duolingo in a video I posted about two months ago. And ever since, I wanted to do a revisit in the Korean Duolingo course. But the thing is, as you can recall, I already completed the course. See this? You see that right there? That is my trophy. And as you can see, it says, I conquered the Korean skill tree. So with this certificate, I had no reason to revisit Korean Duolingo whatsoever. But then I get this comment saying that Korean Duolingo was actually updated. So now there's two more units that I can go check out. So what better thing to do on a rainy evening than just go crack on and speed run Duolingo Korean. And for those of you wondering, yes, this is a part two video. So if you didn't go watch part one yet, you should go do that right now. But just to make you catch up with everything that's been going on, I'm Korean. Yes, I was born in Korea. I was raised in Korea and I've moved around a lot between Korea, Canada, and the US. But Korea still remains the country I lived the most in. And so Duolingo should not be a huge problem. Duolingo. New course update. We've added new skills and updated some old ones. Check it out. So last time where we ended up at, we were at three and now we have four and five. Oh my god, you see that? You see that silhouette right there? That is where we need to be. And if I recall correctly, I think last time we ended at bronze. I don't know how we got silver, but we're, apparently we're, we're silver lead. No hesitation. We're jumping right in. Level five. Let's Go! Test out of 27 skills. Pass the test to jump ahead. We won't make it easy for you though. Oh really? Challenge accepted. Look at that. Three hearts once more. Last time I cut it very close. I actually don't know what happens if you lose all three lives before the last question, but I'm not gonna try to find out. The machine automatically lets us know the location. Are you are you are you? Or I guess since it's this, we have to put E. Yeah, that uh, makes sense. Anyways, it should be the same. The older generation. First of all, I've never heard of Kisong before. Nordu is tease, Komaun is thank, Yot. That's not a complete word. That's not a complete word either, but that means change. And so that's why I'm gonna go with that. We learned something new. The tune of the flute sounds sad. Oh, that's like the Korean word for flutes. Usually though, even in Korean, we call it prut. PD is like, it sounds like a Korean traditional kind of flute. PD, Joga, Sukuda. Yeah, impressive stuff. Oh, this is a good time for a Korean lesson. There's a difference in Korean between ant on your dad's side versus ant on your mom's side. On the dad's side, the ant would be called homo, and on mom's side, it would be called emo. And there's actually several other differences between mom and dad. Another simple one is that if you're referring to your grandparents, we'll just go with grandfather, okay? Grandfather is called harabozi. On your dad's side, it actually doesn't matter. We can add tin, but Usually, even if that word is dropped, it usually refers to your dad's side, grandfather. But if you were to refer to your mom's side, grandfather, so your mom's dad, you would have to put a separate word. And that basically means grandfather on your mom's side. I don't really think there's anything like this in English, really, because like grandparents are grandparents, right? So it can get kind of confusing in English, but in Korean, just know that there is this kind of very specific differentiation. Still, the question remains, what is the aunt's husband? Is it uncle? I don't really know these American terms, you know? I must say aunt and uncle, even though that's very vague. Oh, that is right. The young Thai woman got married. Shijibur. Shijib. That's one word that you will only see in Korean. So there is also a difference in Korean if you're referring to a guy getting married versus if you're referring to a girl getting married. For a guy, you would say tanga, and for a girl, it would be, as it says here, shijip. In Korean, obviously, you could use the word kodon, which literally means marry, and it has no gender differentiation kind of stuff, but in conversations, the words tanga and shijip, they do come up very, very often, as much as kodon, really. So like, you gotta know these differences. They refer to different genders getting married. You know, I know like some Korean entertainment shows, they make some jokes about tanga or shijip, and in English captions, it's very hard to uh, capture the, the base of that joke because it's untranslatable in English. We don't have that concept. I'm guessing that means clean windshield because ta means car, tang means window. Neighbor, where are you at? Car window. Car window. Car window. Are you kidding?
No one in English really says car window. That's why I said windshield. We're like like a third of the way through, and we already lost a life. This is like a deja vu last time. Okay, 사람 자체는 좋습니다. Good as a person? Jesus, what? These are so vague, man. Oh my god. Good as a person itself. That's what it means. Himself? Themselves? What plural does it want? I don't know. Jolin was not, not joking around when it said, we're not gonna make this easy for you, really. Good person overall. I miss my granny. Oh my god. Now I'm glad we did the lesson because as you can see it says way Harmony. In English, you would not know. It just says my granny. But in Korean, you know, oh, this is a grandmother on the mom's side. You're halfway there, I believe in you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> One life. Yes. Visa a visa application. Yeah, that's right. So that's another instance of Konglish. Visa. Visa. Sound very same. Can you find Korea on the globe. That was a word for word answer. That's right. Suck it, Duolingo. Bell bottoms, not parabatsy. So Sai had a video, a music video back in like 2015, where he made a song called Not Parabatsy, Not Pal Baji. It's literally romanization. But if you were to translate it, it would be bell bottoms, because in the video, He's wearing bell bottoms. That's what the whole song is about. And that is what this word is. Bell bottoms, not pai, patchy. What is an osori? I think it's a raccoon. No, it's not. Noguri is raccoon. What? Osori. Forgive me as a native Korean who doesn't know this. I'm just gonna search it up. I don't care. I don't care at this point. Duolingo screwed me up twice and I have one life remaining. I don't care. Oh, it's a badger. I would never guessed that. It's badger went inside the tank. That's right. 10 years ago, the lake was deeper. 10년 전에 호수는 더 깊었어요, right? 10년 전에 호수는 더 깊었어요. Oh my god, that was like a word for word translation. I didn't even see the answer beforehand. The rumble of the thunder scared me. 천둥 소리에 어, 놀았어요. Wait. 깜짝 놀았어요. You could also say that. That would be better. 우르릉 쾅쾅 is onomatopoeia of thunder. And since there's rumble here, maybe I have to include that. Yes. Good. You're so close, you can do it! This says, use your fist. Or maybe that's what it actually means in English too. I would have said, try not to fight, you know? Cause like, using your fist, isn't that kind of like an idiom? Of like, getting into a fight? I feel like Duolingo, sometimes it doesn't like the more casually Englishified sentences I'm throwing it. And sometimes I think it wants me to be very directly literal, okay? Try not to use your fist easily. Oh my god, that was my last life. Duolingo, that's basically right! That's right! Isn't that right? Wouldn't you say that's right? Try not to use your fit. Oh, shoot. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, Jesus, that's on me. I failed. I failed Duolingo. What is this? What does this mean if I just lost all my lives on Duolingo? This is useless. Continue. Careful. It's not over yet. Oh! Oh my god! Wait, we have four lives! This is amazing! We have like, I don't know how many questions that little bar indicates. We got this, we got this, we got this. We got this! We were on the right track, we just made a typo. The plane... is faster than the train. That rhymes! A plane is faster than a train. It does make sense in Korean. We don't really differentiate between A and V. Even in English, the only difference they have is whether you were talking about that subject beforehand. Planes and trains in general, you would say A. So if you were talking about a specific plane and train, you would say V. I think this is the final question. Look at that bar. Towards the front, walking forwards. Or maybe, does not like the ass, maybe. There's no way I can get this wrong. Right. Walk towards the front. Who says walk towards the front? Just say walking forward. And we're done. We're done. We're done. Oh my god. We can hang this back up. You've reached your daily goal. Congratulations. You tested out of 28 skills. You've earned one lingot. Is it this hard to get a single lingot? How do you like Duolingo people? Users, how do they get lingots? Oh my god. Anyways, one day streak, but your streak will reset. If you don't practice tomorrow, watch out. Yeah, we're not planning on coming back. Unless there's another update, of course. And you learned the skill verbal adjectives and 27 others. Oh my god, you see that? That's like a diamond trophy. You see that? That's like shaking. It's so eager to be unboxed. What is this? 
you see that animation? Owl, open the trophy for me. Wait, what? What's this? Oh, like, I just got the trophy. There's no certificate like this that I'm getting? Really? No, I need a certificate. Where's my certificate? Are you kidding me? A diamond trophy, well, diamond trophy is, it's pretty good, not gonna lie, but diamond trophy is all we're getting, really? Is that really the end? I thought there'd be more. That's it. Oh, wow. We destroyed that update in like definitely less than half an hour again. Well, in that case, oh, what is this? What, wait, what is this? They're like a leaderboard. I'm on first, I have the golden chest. Yeah, that's right, beat me, boys. Top 15 advanced in the next league. Oh, I didn't know this, what the heck? Is this why I'm silver? And last time I was bronze and like next time I came on, it's silver. So maybe if there's another third update for Korean, I'll find myself a gold. And what will it be? Will it be diamond platinum? Who knows? Anyways, uh, I feel like we have to wind this video down here because we have this Lovely trophy with the owl. You wouldn't open the damn trophy. So I guess this is still the only certificate we have. That's right. We didn't let ourselves down. We thought it was over because we lost all three hearts, but apparently Julingo was like, nope, you thought you had a heart attack, did ya? Well, we're gonna give you an extra life. That's what ended up saving me. What a what a roller coaster of events. If you're interested in uh, reading, learning on how to read Korean in 20 minutes, then you should go check out this video in the end screen. Uh, because it definitely does that. It's a video I made years ago, and I think it's one of the best videos I've ever made. I'll see you guys later.